Good morning, Grace Church. My name is Elian, and I'm giving my testimony. Growing up, I was raised in what you would call a semi-Christian home. My parents would take me to church every Christmas, every Easter, and that'll be it, right? Tragedy struck when I got the announcement that my parents were divorcing. My, perspe my perspective on life changed. I fell into depression and became suicidal at the age of 10 in 2014. The devil had a hold on me. I would hear voices telling me to do things I didn't want to do and tell me things I didn't want to hear. I was lonely, I was angry. All I ever thought was, why me? Why did it have to be me? Until one day, when I was 12, two years later, my father showed me the gospel. I'm sorry. One day he revealed to me who my savior really was, Jesus Christ. Later then, I received my first Bible and started attending weekly church with him. I was happy. The Lord wiped out my suicidal thoughts, but this was short-lived as instead of being grateful and continuing my God-fearing path and becoming a Christian, I instead went back into the world where I would indulge in my desires. To me then, I didn't know any better. I was a kid. I got what I wanted and I left. To me now, I was using the Lord. I was using the Lord for his blessings and his miracles. I thought, okay, that's gone. I'm good now on my own. But I was wrong. Still, I was angry. I was bitter. I was selfish. Later, transitioning into my freshman year of high school, I had a friend who was Christian at the time and who I would tell my past to, and he would rebuke me on how I used the Lord. He would preach to me the good, the good news and talk to me about Jesus every day. I felt convicted not knowing where my life was headed. This is where I started to take my walk with Christ serious, as it meant heaven or hell, as it says in John 6, verses 47 through 51. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life, for I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. I took on the bread, and I repented for my sins. And, the, and after the summer of 2019, I haven't looked back. After becoming born again in the terms that I have truly accepted Christ some time past, but I never really viewed church as a necessity. I figured I was saved, that's it, I'm done. Until one day, a member here named Ryan Prophet brought me to Grace Church, where I learned I was completely wrong about how important church life is to the believer. And even in scripture, like it says in 1 Corinthians 12:12. 12, 12, for just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. Now, after getting saved and going to church, I'm filled with an everlasting joy that God's grace has allowed me to stand here today and glorify his name through, the life, through my life and the miracles he has done for me.